So I'm going to try again from here. That's the River Seven. And these are some little duckies. Sort of looks over Wales slightly and the forest to Dean. Slightly higher than river level. I'll give it a try. So we got the abris first. Let's unfold it. About 42 inches long. I'll probably lose the dogs in a minute. Let's give this a try. So I've moved position slightly, tied the dogs up. I can guarantee they'll run off just as I'm getting a contact. Now let's give it a go. Mike 6, Delta, Zulu, Zulu, Portable. Mike 6, Delta, Zulu, Zulu, Portable. Just for a little antenna test, please. Six Delta Zulu Zulu Portable. Mike Six Delta Zulu Zulu Portable. Anybody there? GM Six DZZ Portable. G8 A O J. G8 A O J. Do you want to just Y450? I do 450. J8AOJ. Good. Mike Six, out to Zulu. Zulu. I'm um, just trying to think. Is that George? It is. Yeah, you're right. I have to look at what your name is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Aaron. It's George is uh, just across the river from me. Six out to Zulu, Zulu returning. Um, I'm just walking the dogs about a quarter of a mile from home, um, but I thought I'd try this a Brie antenna, which is the handheld um, 42 inch antenna, you know, that sits on, sits on top of the handheld over. Yes, okay. Um, five and nine, no problem. Give you a quick chat to say yes, you are getting out. I thought you were Menu. getting out aerials. Well, I suppose you are really. Um, Power. Irradiate the dog, no doubt. Um, yeah, I was in the other room. I'm transferring. Confirm. Uh, disc to another. Low, low power. My hard disk is getting cluttered up with pictures and that. Putting them on an external drive. <laughs> but I have to make sure I don't delete ones I haven't already copied. Uh, copies a lot of them over in the past, but uh, uh, I had new ones for the folder on the, um, on the uh, PC, um, and if I delete the folder on the PC without checking first, I, I lose some of the pictures, so well, that's what I'm doing. Anyway, the signal's good, 5 and 9, no problem at all, probably could do with the signal a bit further away, but uh, I'm not sure where everybody goes to in the evening, but it seems to be very quiet. M60ZZ, portable, G8AOJ. Roger that. I um, lost a hard drive full of photos a few years back. Um, thousands and thousands and it was just gone. Nightmare. Luckily we got the cloud now, so hopefully, well, civilization's still going. We shouldn't lose any more. 
Um, I've just gone low power actually, um, can you hear me okay? Lovely, five and nine basically. Um, I might in a moment again, just doing some testing, drop back down to the stock antenna and we'll see if you can hear me. Over. Yes, okay, you're, you were five and nine before, you're now five and six and three quarters. <laughs> six and three quarters now on this present aerial, so not quite as good as the other one. Uh, same, same aerial, just dropped down to low power to um, try and see if we can see the difference, over. Yes, okay. Are you on low power? Uh, yeah, you dropped on low power, aren't you? You need to change the aerial now. Uh, next transmission, stock antenna. Cheers. Yes, okay. Um, I'll wait for you. Um, hello, George. Can you hear me, over? So, stock antenna, nothing. Stock antenna with a counterpoise. Let's give that a go. Uh, sorry, George. Stock antenna with a counterpoise. How's that doing? Yeah, unreadable. Unreadable. I can tell it's you there. Uh, strength one, strength one, extremely noisy. So what have you done? It is very good. C eight A okay. Mm, counterpoise wire was in the wrong place. I think it was going across both uh, centre and shield. Uh, Mike 6, Delta Zulu, Zulu returning. Can you hear me, George? Uh, sorry, negative copy, negative copy. Ne Menu. But uh, you're extremely weak. Power. Medium power. Menu. You didn't hear me, I've gone on high power. That was extremely weak. Uh, Menu. One Darren, G8 AOJ. Power. Good out, George. Hello, George. Uh, can you hear me over? Uh, negative. Very weak. Very, very weak. Okay. Uh, no copy. So the abris seems pretty good. Stock Cantana with a counterpoise, which I thought would be as good as the abris. Hello, Mike 6, Delta Zulu. Zulu, are you receiving? 5 and 9, 5 and 9. Sorry about that, George. Cheers. Well, that was interesting. Then, um... I'm on medium power, I tried medium power with the stock antenna and then I tried it with the counterpoise um, just a bit of wire hanging out at the bottom which I thought would be equally as good as this uh, Abris antenna but um, yeah, unreadable, That's, that was interesting, thank you Yeah, you were just about um, discernible I could just uh, tell from the syllables that you were talking to me uh, but that was about all. It was um, zero copy in, it, in effect. Power. So, uh, what a tremendous sound that you did. <laughs> it doesn't radiate. <laughs> it doesn't radiate. Maybe a complete mismatch, but uh, it's almost as if there's an uh, open circuit in the antenna there, Darren. T A K O J. Six out of Zulu Zulu returning. It was interesting. I thought, yeah, like so, um, that was the, the stock antenna with a, a piece of wire hanging out at the bottom, um, about 19 inches. And I've got out quite well with just that before, but um, the debris seems to be much better, but it is about 42 inches long. Yeah, certainly is a lot better. <laughs> You've gone from uh, 1 to 9. Hey. That's how much difference it is. That's quite a lot of DBs. Sorry. Of Dogs are barking. I kept my glasses on. I could tell you how many DBs, but uh, it's 
still was a struggle in that finding glasses and finding bits of paper while holding a microphone. Um, let's have a look. Um, yeah. Uh, something like... Oh, no, I can't do that. Amazing. I can't do that. Uh, sorry, I'm thinking, thinking on my feet. Here's John, a picture of this dog again. At the moment, you're about seven microvolts. Before that, you were a quarter. So you've gone up. <laughs> Your present day, you, that other aerial is 30 times down, uh, which would make it, um, oh dear, uh, uh, 34 dB, isn't that? Something like that. So uh, definitely not getting out there, Darren. G8 AOJ. Mike 6 out of Zulu, Zulu. No, uh, only being an M6, um, not very technical at all, so I just try a few different things and see how it goes. Um, quite like making uh, antennas out of speaker wire and that sort of thing. Done a few HF antennas out of speaker wire, just, just to see what happens. Um, I got to Italy once on a broom pole. That was quite good. Um, obviously with an auto tuner. Um, on, on 10 watts as well, so that was quite interesting. Um, I tried a chain link fence, but that didn't happen very well. Um, on my next over, I'll just fold this down, because it's like a tape measure, and you can fold it into three, um, and it's a bit more a portable for, you know, just receiving, really. Over. Yes, OK. Um, right, I've got a metre reading of just over the nine, so uh, uh, come back when you're ready. So fold it over, a bit more usable, Mike 6, Delta Zulu, Zulu, are you receiving? Yeah, sorry, uh, I got distracted, my wife's come out looking for something. So I can still, still hear George. Come again, Darren. Uh, I can still hear you, a bit of fuzz. Um, but, like I say, the antenna's folded over, um, it's got two folds in it now, so instead of 42 inches, it's, um, oh, I don't know, uh, I don't know, I haven't got a tape measure, but it's folded in three, um, so if it's in your bag or on your side, it's a bit more, a bit more portable than there in 42 inches, um, but obviously it won't be as good. Yeah, okay, well you've gone from just over the nine to just over five which, according to my calculation, is about 7 in voltage, uh, which would make it, um, oh dear, brain's gone, 18 dBs, uh, no, not quite the maximum, 14 dBs. Well, there we have it, so the stock antenna versus the Abri, the Abri wins by lots. The stock antenna had a signal of this, and the Abri had a signal of this. So if you do want to get out further, whether this goes in your pack with you, obviously it's not that portable, and you may not want it on all the time, but if you do want to get out further, it's handy to carry with you. And I thought... The counterpoise would compare to the Abri, but it didn't touch it. So I'm pleased I got the Abri. And I'm pleased I bought one for my son, too. Here's a little uh, review on the Abri. I'll let you make your mind up if you want one. Thanks very much. See you next time. Bye-bye. Cause I found out your bark is worse than your bite I let the well swallow my wish While my mind attends to the graze on my fist I'll take my thoughts of you and let them disperse Traveling my veins, they feel more like a curse I'll cut the ties and sew them to break
you've done, wherever you've been, just remember.